today I'm going to show you how to use last Friday's quick mix cake to make my husband's favourite pineapple upside down cake. You'll need one batch of quick mix cake batter. Check out last week's video for the recipe. You'll need some glacé cherries, several pineapple rings, the number will depend on the size of your cake tin, one and a half teaspoons of butter or dairy free margarine and a half a cup of brown sugar. Start by greasing your tin and preheat your oven to 190 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit. The first thing we need to do is mix the brown sugar and the butter or shortening together. Give it a really thorough mix. And then pour that into the base of your cake tin. And spread it out evenly. On top of that, arrange your pineapple rings. And finish your design with the cherries. Now this sugar will melt all over the top, it'll make a lovely caramel glaze. And then eat one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very carefully on top of that, pour your cake batter. Try not to disturb your design too much. And that goes in the oven at 190 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 45 minutes. It totally depends on your oven. And here is my cake straight out of the oven. Now you can tell that it's cooked not only because when you press it in the middle, it bounces back, but also if you look around the edge, you can see that it's pulled away from the edge of the cake tin. And that is another way that you can tell that a cake is cooked. Now here comes the scary dangerous part. This is really hot. So put a plate over the top. So take your least manky tea towel and fold it or several pot holders. Whatever's going to save your fingers. And keeping it on camera Flip it upside down. I'm scared. Now, if you haven't used a spring form tin, it would probably be a good idea to run a knife around the edge first. And now I'm going to rescue my tea towel. this won't all stick. Yay! And now the reveal. Don't stick, don't stick, don't stick. Awesome. And there you have it. My mother-in-law's pineapple upside down cake. It's sticky, it's got a lovely buttery flavour. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, or click on the gingerbread man below to watch another one.